Yeah, um, welcome everybody to my channel. Uh, my name is Powali, and um, in this lesson, I will be taking you through on how to quickly spin up and register your 40 OS um, or 40 gig VM that you downloaded for free. You understand? So you cannot have uh, 40 gig VM to yourself for free for lab purpose, study purpose, but it's limited. Uh, it has limited resources, you understand? So uh, in my previous uh, video, I showed you how you, could, you can download it. You can quickly go back to that video and check it out. Now that we've downloaded um, our VMs, so we have this um, as the um, as the VM that we downloaded. It is um, um, it has been archived in a zip um, format. So you have to extract it and uh, put it out in a folder. So I've extracted it and is now in this folder. So one of the things you want to do is that you want you have your VM where installed already. This is a, a VMware workstation for non-commercial use only. So you can use this for, for, for study, for labbing and for testing out some certain features you want in your environment, which I'm doing. So at this point, I have all these um, images, OV, OVF file and all that. And you can simply right click on one or double click on one of these file and it will be automatically imported to your VMware and this is what I'm going to do just right now. So double click this to install your VMware. So it open up the VMware and you click OK. Next, so you name it, let's name it 40 gigs lab. So you import. So we wait for some moment for it to get imported. Don't forget that we've already registered an account on 40 uh, net site. With the account, we're able to download our VM. So we have a uh, 40 k account, so to speak, that we can register this device to on Fortinet site. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to um, how to register your VM so that you can have access to the uh, to the features, to limited features on the VM, and how to how to yeah how to do that basically. So you can then then go ahead and um, practice and do anything you want to do uh, with the VM. So let's just wait for some moments. Okay, now our VM is loaded up. So we have a serial number of this. I think it's rebooting. Let's just wait for it to boot and I'll show you how you will configure the interface of your 40 gate VM and also how you, you set your um, default route so that the VM can easily have internet access for you to register on 40 next sites and boom, you have free access to the account. So don't forget that by default, the VM where um, inter network interface is in breach mode. That means that um, your, um, your VM where is connected to your, um, to your fiscal router 
is bridging it so you will have almost you it will be on the same network with your laptop so that means if you set you have to set the interface of the vm in the same um with in the same network that you're connecting to for you to register so the um the default username is admin and the password has nothing just press enter again then you set your new, new password um okay now what we want to do is we want to set the um interface of the vm uh, on the same network to which we are connected to so what you want to do is um, config system interface, um, edit port one. So most, um, yeah, FortiGate comes with port, it is port one in a DSCP mode. And the default IP address is 192.168.1.99. So you might want to change the address because it might not become it might not be on the same network with what you're connecting so i'm giving it um the, the ip address on my network so first thing i want to set a static set mode static um, set ip address as 192.168.100 dot sa 60 slash 24 then set allow access http https um, end so another thing we want to do for is to set our route so that we can have internet access are you getting me let's go there now set config system routes config yeah config system Oh, sorry, configure router static. Configure router static. Yeah, configure router static. Okay, set um, destiny. No, edit port one. Edit one. Um, set destination. Set um, set gateway. One eight two the one six eight dot one hundred dot one and set um device as port one and set destination set destination. So most times if you are not sure of the command, just put question mark. So you have um these as Set destination as so does it as a slash so, then end. So with this, we have internet access um, on 40 gig. So let's browse straight to our VM. Um, so go to your VM 192.168.100. Sixty, yeah. So most times, don't use HTTP. Just use HTTP because you are working with a free license. Let's ping it.
Ini adalah pink self. Ini just one minute. Okay, it's fine. So it comes up. So admin password is the admin. Okay, now we are here. So this is where I want to bring your um, attention to. When you would see that it's requiring for license, we have evaluation license and full license. Um, while we're using evaluation license, which is this, then it shows you the limited um, resources you will be having access to, and you can click here to learn more. And also, uh, because of the registration you've done earlier, you just impute your um, your username, which your email address, and your password. And please ensure that you set the route in the first place that we did, because without that, your forty gates will not be able to access the internet. So um, I've done, I've registered one account with one VM before. So this may not um, register um, because um, the registration is only limited to one, um, is only li limited to one, um, one VM. So one account per um, VM, you know, like uh, the requirement that we read earlier. So do, 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 do. let's try it. Let's see whether I would be able to register. Invalid serial number. Why? Because I already have an account registered already. So if you don't have any VM there already, it would boots up it will restart um the vm will start after downloading the license and you'll be able to have access to your um vms and all that 